Hello, today I'd like to do a little product review, give you my ideas and opinions about a couple of products. I'm going to start off here with this V Modest Clipper Kit. In this kit, as you can see, it's well packaged. It comes with two batteries, charger, the tool, some tools for use on it, and even comes with an extra blade. Very nice little product. Nice, lightweight, simple little kit to use. Now this little battery, it doesn't have any lights to tell you how their uh, charges or anything. How much power it's got or anything like that. And the little charger. Well, you just plug this in right here. Plug this into any 110 volt uh, wall outlet. Uh, let her charge. There is a light right here that will light up. Red when it's uh, charging. Green when it uh, is fully charged. Very simple. Easy to use. Now, this battery pack, I've already used it quite extensively. I've removed a bunch of limbs and other stuff up there at the house in town. But it still seems to have power. Simple to load up. You have to press this until the little light turns green. And kind of hard to see that light out here in this bright sunlight. Now it does have a little LCD display. When this is lit, it is powered up. Simple two hits of the trigger and it opens up, ready to cut. Simple, press it, it closes, cutting things. Now if you want to keep this from accidentally closing on something, press hold. There's a little audio, small little beeps, and then when you release it, it stays closed. To start working, hit it twice, ready to go. And all you need to do to operate this thing is just find you any little limb. There you go, just that simple. Now for any of you that know anything about trees, this is a blackjack, and they're very hard on any kind of power tools. Now, some of these will cut real easy. Others, once they get a little bigger, you may need to do two or three uh, tries to get it cut. Let's see how bad this big thing is. Barely fits in. But you keep moving it around. And like I said, blackjack is rough on even a good chainsaw. This one. Take a few tries, but you can see that's a pretty good sized limb, especially for something small as this. And it did take it off. Of course, like I said, these are better for your smaller stuff, but anything that you're needing to do that is fairly small, these things work great for.
Now these things are nearly shut off. Now you can hit and hold this power button. The green light will uh, go out. The display will go out. And you can leave it like this. But let's go on to the next little tool. This is a little, again, V-Modest handheld chainsaw. Now on this one, it does have a push to view fuel power. And again, push down, pull. And it also has the same little connector. And yes, the little clipper battery power or charger, you can plug right in here, charge this one the, the same way. Now, what does this particular one use? Well, it's a little different. Let me get this out. Now, this is the charger for this battery pack. And as you can see, it's got a red and a green light. And you can kind of see here how, they, how it works. Now, you can take one of the clipper batteries and it'll slide right on to this just as normal as anything else. So... By buying both of these, you're actually getting three batteries that you can interchange. But let's get back to the little handheld uh, chainsaw. Now this, I have the 8-inch blade or bar. Now, it does come with a little bitty clear bottle that you can put oil in, make it easier to put oil in your reservoir. I've already got some oil in this, and this thing is automatic. You don't have to worry about anything. Just simply press your button here, squeeze the trigger, and it's just that easy, it's that simple. So, let's see if we can find something to cut. comes right off real simple real easy I'm needing to get these uh, trees trimmed down some so when I'm mowing out here I can actually ride the lawnmower underneath this is a pretty fair cut but it's like a chainsaw not as clean as the clippers but it does cut and it will take off a good sized limb now let's say there's some that's higher up that you're wanting to get but you can't reach it with this you're gonna get a ladder or step ladder or something like that no 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 in this kit, you also get a nice little extendable pole. Even has a uh, little strap that you can harness to you. Keep it uh, from falling away. Help support some of the weight. Now, how do you get this on here? Oh, it's so hard. Press release. Pull the battery off, set it down, then just take, slide that right in here, like so, just like you're putting a battery on, and these two little push buttons, one on each side, squeeze, and you can adjust this in any of several different positions to suit your needs. Very nice, very simple very easy to use now let's get some power to this extension same battery pack just slide it in and again you have a little lockout push button and a trigger push the button hit the trigger there you go you're ready to start cutting 
let's see if we can find something here to cut. Let's come on up here to this one. There you go. That simple, that easy. Sometimes they will kind of try to power down if you get to feeding it too much. Just release it, kind of work it out, hit the trigger again. There you go. Already starting to look a lot better around here. Now, you might be asking, hey, that's nice, but that's not very long uh, pole. You're not gonna be able to get up there very far. Well, guess what? Flip that, pull this up, flip that back around, then come down here to this one, do the same thing. Now you've got a much taller one that you can get on up there and take some taller limbs out with. And again, real simple, real easy to use. You don't have to worry about trying to get up here and oil your chain <coughs> or push a bulb or something like that, like the older ones used to be. This little thing, if you've got oil in this, and you're operating it, it is oiling this chain. Yes, there is oil here on this chain. There is a little tank here that shows you how full or how empty your tank is. And all you need to do is just open this up and add some oil into it as needed. Now this one actually came with my Relia Rhodes cordless electric chainsaw. That's a little bigger than this. But it works real good for refilling this thing. This thing doesn't, doesn't take a whole lot of oil. There you go, that's how much it took. And it was pretty much just about on empty. I took this thing up to my sister's and did a little work around her house with it and let her try it. And I'm pleased to report she's buying this unit and the clippers both. She was really liking it. And I actually cut a limb that I kid you not was a length of my hand here and I cut it down with one of these and that was on an oak tree so you can see here my hand and this thing's almost the exact same length this tip barely made it through the bark on the other side and it took it off it took a while but it did do it so this thing also comes with another bar and chain This is a 10 inch bar and chain to fit this thing. Do I think I'll need it? After seeing what it did up at my sister's, I really don't think so. Not for something like this, because if it gets much bigger than that, what am I doing with a little 21 volt uh, chainsaw? I'm gonna need something probably a little bit bigger than that. And that's where this thing comes in. Now this is the Relia Rhodes 16 inch chain cordless electric chainsaw. Now it takes two batteries and these are DeWalt compatible. No, they're not DeWalt branded, but they are DeWalt compatible 20 volt lithium batteries. They are six amp hour batteries 
you just slot that in there. Make sure that you still got oil in your reservoir. I don't know if you can see that, but yes, there is oil. If I needed to, some, just undo this, pull this off, take that same bar, or I have a quart of bar and chain oil here. These things really don't waste the oil like the gas burners do. But how hard is this thing to use? Well, that's a button. You push it, and all these lights turn up green. Now, this is your interlock. Now, this is kind of rough. You're going to have to have some good thumb strength. Push that up. Then you hit the trigger. And it's just that simple. You get quite a bit of uh, sawdust on you, especially reaching up like that. But now what can this thing handle? I've cut a tree that was literally from the teeth here out to about here long, or wide, however you want to say it. And it went right through it, no problem whatsoever. I've cut blackjack. I've cut cedar i've cut willow i've cut plum i've cut maple i've cut hickory i've cut all kinds of things now here's something else that's really fascinating and fantastic about this relia roads chainsaw say your chain gets real loose and you need to adjust it take this loosen it up this actually has a minus and the positive side. Rotate that just a bit. Get it as tight as you need or want. Tighten that back down. Turn your power back on, hit your thumb. Squeeze the trigger and there you go. You're ready to go again. Simple, easy. Uh, like I said, I've used this I bought my brother one identical for Christmas last year. He absolutely loves it. He has used this, the one he has, on all kinds of different stuff. He has been very surprised by how well it lasts. He said that the batteries that I bought him, which are almost identical to these. Now, would I classify these as full 6 amp batteries? They're not DeWalt uh, uh, quality at 6 amp. They're probably more like about 5 amp or so. But still, these things will outlast most people. I've been out here over an hour on the same batteries, constantly cutting. Still had some battery power left. Now, do not go by these lights. Yeah, they're supposed to start dropping. Don't go by them. Use your built-in battery lights. They'll show you how many you got. And as you can see, this one is fully charged. This one here is also fully charged. I have used this some. I cut up some oak there at my sister's house. And I've done a little bit around here with it also. And like I said, I don't know... How Reliant Roads built this thing, but these battery packs last and last. The oil level really lasts. It does oil the chain, but it doesn't waste it. It's not a whole lot of oil slinging everywhere. And like I said, it will cut very well. I don't know if you saw that over there, but let's just cut this off right here. Nice and simple, easy to cut. And like I said, you can cut anything with this thing as long as you can get the bar and chain into it and squeeze the trigger. 
it'll go right through that wood. Like I said, I've done blackjack and hickory both. Both of those are very hard woods. My father-in-law, I also bought him one for Christmas. And he did some uh, Osage orange. And he said he had cut that tree up and nothing flat. He said it went through it real good. And he told me that the batteries and the chainsaw outlasted him by quite a bit. He used it several days before he needed to put the other batteries in. I got him and my brother both a four pack of these DeWalt compatible batteries. Now they're not the same as the ones I've got, but they are similar. They're both four packs. They're both six amp hour. They're both DeWalt compatible. They are not DeWalt battery packs. They are compatible. You can use DeWalt batteries in here. You can use the cheaper versions whatever. Now, I've even used the DeWalt 1.5 amp hour batteries in this, and you'll be surprised at how long those will go for. I've really been surprised how well they've lasted in this thing. So, here are a bigger chainsaw, a smaller handheld chainsaw, and or pole saw. I will really like this because I get a handheld and a pole saw all in one kit, and I'm not having to switch between one or the other. I just take this kit out, and I got both with me. And if you buy the little clipper kit, you got something for small pruning. Very easy to use, lasts a very long time. Um, in town, I went from, I don't know, maybe, 50 feet back from the road if that all the way back to the alley and that fence line was just overloaded with limbs and weeds and small trees and other stuff I did it all with this other than about three limbs that I had to use this for because they were up above the house and anyway, I cut those three, maybe four limbs down with this, but everything else I did with this here and my sister and I, we spent probably, oh, good 30 minutes moving cut limbs. So yeah, if you need any, a good set of little powered clippers, this V modest kit, I highly recommend it. If you're needing something a little bit more powerful, this little V-Modest pole saw, I am highly recommending it. It's a very good little kit. And like I said, you can have a fairly nice low uh, type pole. And like I said, you can put that on there, kind of help support it. Uh, do, am I going to use this very much? Probably not a whole lot. But uh, I really like the fact that you can take the saw off the pole and use it handheld. My wife loves all these. Now, my sister, she did use the Relia Road 16 inch, and she was talking about getting one. But how often is she really going to use that in town? Probably not a whole lot. And some of what she's really needing. She's going to have to have a professional with a bucket truck to come in and cut out. So she's decided to wait on the 16 inch, maybe see how much she can get done with the clippers and the pole saw. And she may be thinking about getting one of these uh, 16 inch chainsaws also. <clears throat> like I said, I really like this uh, setup. You've got from small medium to large now will this thing get the biggest trees here in oklahoma probably not you probably need something a little bigger than this here this is just a 16 inch chainsaw is it good for tying a rope to climbing up in a tree and trimming oh yes 
simple. It's not very heavy. I can control it pretty well one-handed. Two-handed is fantastic. Yes, it does have the brake. So, keep from accidentally triggering it. Of course, you've got to push the button and you got to shove this up to be able to actuate this thing at all. So, why do you need this? I really don't see as far as necessary. It's still active, it still works, and I will continue to have it on this thing. But like I said, this is a fantastic little uh, chainsaw. I can't say enough good about it. I did have a problem with one, and the company took good care of me. Got the situation remedied very quickly. Now, I did have to do some testing to prove to them that, yes, it was a faulty chainsaw. But they did take care of it. So, I can assure you that they do take customer service very seriously. And they do try to make sure that you as a customer is are going to be pleased with their product. Now, will the V-Modest people do the same? I don't know. Haven't needed it yet. Uh, but like I said, so far, it's been a pretty nice uh, little tools. And as you can see, this is already starting to look much better. And I've got a bunch more that I need to take care of. If y'all want to see me using some of these a little more, give me a comment. Hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. And uh, I'll see you for the next video. Goodbye.